Hey, welcome back. Uh, we are going to read I Am Amelia Earhart, which is by Brad Meltzer, illustrated by Christopher Elio Poulos. And it is a level 3.3. .3. I Am Amelia Earhart by Brad Meltzer, illustrated by Christopher Elio Poulos. For Lila, my daughter, who makes me feel like I'm soaring. For Audra, my life, my co-pilot, my hero. I am Amelia Earhart. When I was little, people told me that girls should wear dresses and play with dolls. They said we shouldn't have unladylike adventures. I didn't agree. In fact, when I was seven years old, my sister and I decided to build our own roller coaster in our backyard. We placed two planks of wood up against the side of our tool shed. The cab was a wooden packing box with roller skate wheels attached to the bottom. We greased the wood with lard so we'd move super fast. Creative. Of course, I got to ride first. This was my moment. Here we go in three, two. Looks scary. I still remember the wind in my face. My stomach seemed to sink. I was flying. The crash was loud and noisy and messy. It certainly wasn't ladylike, but it was awesome. Amelia Earhart, take it apart this instant. That was awesome. She had fun. It wasn't the last time I would fly. As I got older, I went to many air shows. When I was 23 years old, but still a kid at heart, my dad took me to meet Frank Hawks, a man who would eventually set many of his own flight records. For $10, Hawks agreed to take me on my very first flight. For 10 minutes, we flew through the sky and out over the Pacific Ocean. By the time I was two or three hundred feet off the ground, I knew one thing. I had to fly. She loves it. To save for my flying lessons, I worked as a truck driver, which wasn't ladylike either. A stenographer, which is a fancy schmancy word for someone who writes down what people say. And even a photographer. Those are all the things she worked as to save money for her flying lessons. Six months after I learned to fly, I bought a bright yellow used biplane that I named Canary. Canary is a cool name for a plane, right? But here's my secret. I wasn't a natural. I wasn't the best pilot. I just worked harder than anyone else. This is my instructor, a woman named Netta Shook. That's her real name. That's enough flying for today. No, I can do better. One more flight. <laughs> Most important, like that day on the roller coaster, 
I dared to do what so many said couldn't be done. A girl flying across the Atlantic? Amelia, you sure this is a good idea? This isn't a good idea. It's the best idea. I became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean and then the first woman to fly by myself across the Atlantic. Back then, people took boats to get to Europe, sailing for weeks. Planes were still a new thing. In fact, on the day I took off, one magazine ran an article that said women would never be able to fly that far. To do it, I had to fly for 14 hours and 56 minutes with no rest, no break. Sometimes the sun was so blinding, I could barely see where I was going. In the process, I also broke the record for crossing the ocean in the shortest time, doing it faster than any man or woman ever. Then I broke an altitude record, which is just a fancy schmancy way of saying I went higher than anyone else. How high did I go? About 12 Empire State Buildings straight up at a time when no woman had ever gone that high. In October 1922, I broke the women's altitude record by rising to 14,000 feet. And in July 1930, I set a speed record of over 181 miles per hour. In my life, I took many flights. Every single time, there was someone who said that I wouldn't be able to do it. Never let anyone stop you. Whatever your dream is, chase it. Work hard for it. You will find it. It is the best lesson I can give you. I am Amelia Earhart. I know no bounds. And I hope you'll remember that the greatest flight you'll ever take is the one no one has tried before. Never interrupt someone doing what you said couldn't be done. That was said by Amelia Earhart. Some pictures of Amelia at age seven. Amelia in the cockpit pit at night in 1936. This is Amelia with her first plane, which she named Thus Canary. And this is Frank Hawks, which is the pilot who first took Amelia on an airplane ride. And this is Netta Snook, Amelia's, Amelia's flight instructor. These are real pictures. The end. Thank you for reading along with us. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can continue reading along with us.